If you've watched my aircraft review videos of the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A320, then you know that in real life these planes make use of fly-by-wire. It's a relatively new thing for flight gear planes to have a realistic fly-by-wire simulation, so I thought it would not be such a bad idea to look at what it is exactly. In 1988, Airbus showed to the world that fly-by-wire could be successfully used in airliners after other companies had been using it for several years already in military jets. Later on, Boeing started using fly-by-wire in their new planes as well. However, Airbus and Boeing think very differently about how fly-by-wire should affect the plane and how the pilot's input should affect the flight computers. In this video, we'll take a look at the Airbus A330-200 in flight gear. As you may know, alongside fly-by-wire, Airbus introduced the side stick on the A320. The A330, A350 and A330 also use this side stick, and so will the A350. This side stick does not directly control the plane's elevators and ailerons, but sends signals to the plane's flight computer. You could say that the Airbus planes always have some sort of autopilot enabled that is stuck on the pitch and roll holding modes. If the pilot pulls back on the stick, the plane will start pitching up more, but as soon as the stick is brought back to the center position, the plane will continue to hold that pitch. So even if the engines speed up or slow down, or if the flaps are brought up or down, or whatever happens, the pitch will stay constant. And the same goes for the roll of the plane. If the side stick is pushed to the left or to the right, the plane will bank further. But when the stick is brought back to the center position, the plane will keep on banking at the same banking angle. So as you can imagine, it can be much easier for pilots to fly the plane without the autopilot enabled. For example, if the plane has to make a turn, all the pilots have to do is make the plane start banking. They can then let go of the controls until the plane needs to stop turning. At that moment, all the pilots have to do then is moving the side stick to the other side a bit in order to level the plane's wings, after which they can let go of the controls again. So as I said, Boeing has a different approach to using fly-by-wire. I'm not 100% sure how well the 787 in flight gear uses realistic fly-by-wire systems, but at some point I'll make a video looking at Boeing's fly-by-wire systems and comparing it to how Airbus uses it.